What is up guys, Alex here from Tech Labs and the Apple has just dropped the iOS 9.3.2 final version so you can go ahead and download this firmware for yourself. So there have been a huge way through iOS 9.3.2 beta versions and there have been 4 beta versions that were made for this firmware and now it's already available to us. So today guys we're going to be taking a look at this firmware Again, saying all of the new things that this firmware brought to us and bug fixes that were included in this firmware. And yeah, just saying my personal opinion, should you upgrade, should you not. So without any further ado, let's just get straight into it. So first things first guys, I want to show you that this firmware actually takes 1.4 gigabytes on my iPhone to actually install it. So as you can see here, it says 1.4 gigabytes and it's so huge, I didn't expect to get so much storage needed for this firmware. This is really shocking to me. But as you can see here, there are lots of bug fixes there and we're gonna go through all of them right now. But let me just show you that on my iPhone 5 here, it says 1.2 gigabytes as well as on the iPad 4 there, the 1.2 gigabytes as well. So right now I got already the iOS 9.3.2 installed on my iPhone 6 here and as you can see on the right we have the iPhone 5 still installing this firmware but we're not gonna stop here we're just gonna move through all of the new features and things that this firmware brought to us. So the first feature that hasn't been patched yet is all about rounded folders. So if you've seen my previous videos, I've already shown you guys how you can make your phone this rounded and it's so, so easy with no jailbreak at all. So as you can see here, guys, I get rounded folders on my iPhone and it looks super, super awesome. It looks just like the Apple Watch style and I just want to keep this feature on my iPhone. If you haven't seen that video yet, make sure you click on this link in here and go to it and watch the tutorial how you can make it work on your iPhone. And now the feature that has been brought to us with the iOS 9.3.2 beta 1. So there we had on the iOS 9.3.1, uh, we couldn't actually activate both modes, the low, low power mode and the night shift mode at the same time. But now, as you can see here, guys, I can activate both of those modes and they can, um, they can run in the same time. So it's super, super awesome. I actually did previously a video how you can activate them on the iOS 9.3.1, but Apple actually listened to us, listened to their customers and made this feature happen. So right now we can run those two modes at the same time with no problem. Another great feature that has been removed from the iPhone, unfortunately this was kind of amazing one, that we could actually disable all of these animations on your iPhone and make it in some kind of a sense faster. So this was a need and this was actually removed from the iPhone with the iOS 9.3.2 beta 2 or beta 3, I don't actually remember but uh, I actually did a tutorial how you can make it so if you want to watch that video and you're still running the iOS 9.3.1 uh, you can watch this in here, it's gonna be annotated also in this corner. That obviously wouldn't work on this firmware so don't try if you're running this firmware at this time. So now let's take a look at the, some of the bug fixes that were fixed in this firmware. So the first one, the in this firmware we have the uh, issue with the Bluetooth accessories um, that could experience audio quality issues with the pair to the iPhone SE. So this one is directly to the iPhone SE users. So Apple did a great job here, good for fixing this problem and also fixes an issue where looking up dictionary definition could fail. So. For all the people who are actually searching through dictionaries right now, their um, bug is already fixed, so that's super cool. And there are a few other ones, but they're not actually significant ones, but you can read it out for yourself if you're interested, so I'm gonna leave it here for two seconds. And now this one is for all the iPhone 6s Plus users. So guys, in the past you used to have this terrible animation when using your iPhone 6s Plus in it, in the landscape mode and trying to 3D touch on the icon. So like you're you're having a 5 FPS animation that is terrible. And this this hasn't been actually fixed in this firmware, but I can suggest you guys doing something like this. So you do the same, but in landscape mode. So like this, like this, and then you go and 3D touch on an icon, and this would give you a really nice 30 FPS animation. So just like that, really simple. So now let's compare how much storage did we have on the previous firmware, the iOS 9.3.2 beta 4, to this one. So previously we had a 1.4 gigabytes free, and now we have a 2.1 gigabytes. That's a huge improvement, Apple, thanks for that. 0.5 gigabytes are now back to us and there is, was a huge cache 
I deleted from our iPhone. The next thing guys that I want to do here is actually testing our iPhone in a Geekbench application. So let's go ahead and test it out as usually. Alright, so what do we got here? A 1619 for the single core score and a 2919 for the multi core score. Okay, so let's go ahead and compare this one to the previous Geekbench results that we had. So, in the previously we had a 1615 and 2910. So, this one is a bit worse than the uh, new one. So, the new one we have our Geekbench scores a bit increased. And this is super awesome, but as you know, Geekbench scores are not that significant. They're not really reliable, but it's it's actually a nice addition to this firmware. All in all, I would say that we have been waiting for this firmware for so long, and it's finally here, and it's super awesome. It's pretty fast. It, the animation seems to be smoother, and the overall performance is better. But guys, there is just one thing that I would say to you is uh, that is against the upgrade into this firmware and this is a jailbreak as you know the jailbreak is pretty significant to me and it's really really important i just love all of those tweaks and things you can do with a jailbreak so if you're running the ios 9.3.1 for example or lower uh, if and if you want to get the jailbreak you don't have to update because if you update maybe there wouldn't be a version of a jailbreak for uh, the newest frameworks maybe it would be for older frameworks i i don't actually know but there's just a one a little warning from you guys just don't update if you want to get this jailbreak Anyway, that's all for today. Thanks everybody for watching. Make sure you click that like button and visit all of my other videos if you like this one. And also please subscribe to my channel because I really, really need your support, guys. We're now heading to 1,000 subscribers and it is super awesome. So I just really, really need your support. There is just a few steps to get this number of subscribers. Anyway, guys, as always, this was Alex with you from Tech Labs. And I'm going to catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.